Tinabunan Elementary School is located in the vicinity of Pag-asa 1 in Muscavite. Where equipped and multi-talented learners and teachers are here. This school has achieved a great deal in all aspects of teaching and learning processes. Of course, we couldn't attain all of this without the great help of the region and the vision leaders in Imo City. In the humblest way, I would like to inaugurate our beloved Tinabunan Elementary School has been up until now. Our school is continuously succeeding and improved for the better in the past three years. From teachers' recognition and promotion, learners joining in the national events, the stakeholders as our support system, and the school as a conducive learning environment. I will show you a little glimpse of our school, where COVID pandemic is a far away to our inclusion. This was our school before pandemic, from the facilities, classroom setups, to daily schooling of the learners. We cannot deny the fact that we're missing this all. But now, we're facing the biggest challenges in the education system as the pandemic hit us so hard. Nevertheless, the Tinabunyans didn't let the fear and anxiety bring us down because we teachers and curriculum implementers are the light of the success. As we accept the challenge in implementing limited face-to-face -face as mandated in the Vision Memorandum No. 406 series of 2021, here are our wide preparation, work dissemination, and putting our dedication to the best of our ability. From school facilities involving classroom layout and structure, we ensure that the virus will not enter even a single hole. We establish mechanism upon entering the school premises and inside the classroom to ensure zero to minimal risk of COVID-19 transmission to learners as well as to teachers. Also, protective measures and safety procedures are also considered. The Division of Imo City has provided health kits and safety gear to the learners of Tinabunan. Mm -hmm. Teachers in all grade levels truly put all the dedication and strategies to give the best results in limited face-to-face -face implementation. Of course, coordination and communication will not be overlooked. This platform includes a communication plan, orientation, and contingency plan that persons are involved including the community and the vicinity of Imo City, barangay officials, LGUs, IATF, and parents, just to ensure the smooth and safe process. With the leadership of our dearest principal to Ma Maria P. A. King, together with teaching and non-teaching personnel, we have discussed a decision model and contingency plan in reopening the school. It's not easy as we think. But the Division of Imo City is completely giving us support in conducting limited face-to-face. -face. Moving forward to a partnership, this includes shared responsibility with barangay officials, LGUs, the municipality, and parents are in deep concern. Teachers have consulted all of them and made a valid checklist, and we scrutinized who among the learners in modular learning modality is in a need of physical learning modality. Teachers are on the go of selecting pupils from their family background, academic standards, and their life as a whole. In line with this plan, chosen learners must be in the category of struggling learner, living in the vicinity of Imus, and has the capacity to be fetched and pick up at school. And now it goes this way. Upon entering, learners 
teachers and parents must stop at the health check and sanitation area to guarantee the security of each person that enters the school. Following the approved path walk by the helpful validators, learners will enjoy and experience the most awaited comeback of the year. It's the face-to-face -face classes. If students in their designated room will again get their temperature check, and if any health urgency, isolation areas are also provided. Health clinic teachers are also there. Learning materials are disinfected through UVC sterilization boxes. Okay na po mami, 30, normal na po. Pwede na po kayo pumunta.
Labunan Elementary School is beyond grateful for all the supports received from the community leaders of Pagasa 1, stakeholders, and most importantly, the Department of Education through SDOM City, administered by our Dynamic School Superintendent, Dr. Rosemary Torres. We thank you all.